as a reseller, how many income streams do you actually have? And I ask you this because a lot of people that I've talked to recently only have one income stream, and that's eBay or Amazon or Etsy or Poshmark or local sales. That is a huge, huge problem. So do me a favor, answer down in the comment section below. Let me know how many income streams do you have right now? Because I guarantee you, you do not have enough. In today's video, what I wanna do, what I wanna go over is I wanna give you seven, okay, count them, seven income streams all resellers should have. One of the main reasons why I highly recommend resellers have more than just one income stream is because what do you do if for some reason your eBay account is getting absolutely no sales, your Amazon FBA account, Amazon let's say they hold your money, over on Poshmark, you're just getting killed, you're not getting any sales, what do you do? Do you go and get a nine to five job? Do you go and try to do something else? What do you do to actually make money? So. Like I said, I wanna give you seven income streams that all resellers should have. So for me, I am an eBay and Amazon FBA seller, so that is my core business. That's the two primary income streams that I have when it comes to reselling. So I'm just gonna go and write those in and we'll kind of address those later on. So I'm gonna put eBay. Okay, I'll put Amazon. Okay, I'm just gonna do that and uh, I'll write FBA, okay, Amazon, FBA. So those are two of my income streams. Now again, I'm gonna talk about those later on, but for the first thing, I'm gonna start number one and work my way down. What I wanna do is I wanna talk about one of the income streams I don't talk about a lot. I've actually referenced a video, or I'm gonna reference a video later on. I'll actually put it down in the description box below as well, but this video, Okay, that I'm a reference. I talk about how I'm making money through dividends. Okay, I'm gonna write that down. Okay, through dividends. And I'm actually doing that through an account called Robinhood. If you didn't see that video, okay, and you wanna go and watch it, I talk about my secret eBay income. You can go ahead and watch that video right there. And I just talk about how I'm making money by buying dividend stocks through a free app called Robinhood. Now, essentially what I'm doing is I'm taking 5% of my monthly profit from eBay and I'm rolling that 5% into stocks that pay me a dividend, okay? Now, this may be a little bit over your head, you may not understand this completely, but the way this works is if a stock that I buy, uh, they pay out a dividend, then every month, every few months, whenever they pay it, I get a small little little fee, a little dividend. And it might only be a dollar fifty here, you know, two eighty five there, you know, four sixty something there per share that I own for that particular stock. Now, again, it may be over your head, you may not know what I'm talking about, but if you want to kind of do that exact same thing and just take five percent, it's absolutely free to go and buy stocks. Okay, it's it's free now. That's the cool part. Use Robinhood, the free app. I'll put, a, I'll put a link down in the description box below. You can go and join. If you join using that link down in the description box below, you will actually get a free stock, which means, okay, once you sign up, which means you can potentially get like Facebook or, or maybe even Google or you know, something like that. And so you can get you know, $100 stock easily just by signing up, okay? So go and do that if you want to. If you don't want to you know, invest into the dividend stock, I get it, but that's just one income stream I highly recommend you have, is invest into the stock market where you can actually you know, invest a little bit of money and then eventually, hopefully it turns into a lot more. The second income stream I highly recommend all resellers have is coaching. You're probably thinking, why would a reseller want to also become a coach? Here's the reason why. I'm not saying go out there and create a course like I do, and I, if you've, you've probably heard me say it before, I have a course, it's called Thrift Store Profits. Uh, I'll put a link to that down in the description box below as well. And uh, if you wanna go and get a discount on that, I'll put a link in there as well so you don't have to pay full price. But coaching, the way coaching works is, and so for me, one of the things I get uh, asked all the time when I'm in thrift stores or I'm doing stuff for Amazon FBA as far as buying wholesale or something like that is one of the questions I get from a lot of friends and family members is, 
can you teach me how to do that? I don't like my job. I would love to quit. But how do I quit if I don't have any income coming in? Well, one thing you can do as a reseller is to teach other people exactly how to do what it is that you do. Teach them your tricks, your methods, your, your process, and show them exactly how to do that, but not for free. You charge them, you charge them hourly. Do some hourly coaching, whether it's a coaching call, you'll hand your know, one-on-one -on -one coaching where you go to a thrift store or a, your know, retail store or whatever it is to find your inventory. You do it one-on-one -on -one and charge them for it. This is a great business opportunity. And I say this because everybody that I know that's doing reselling, they're down here, eBay, Amazon, that's it. They don't have any other income. But if Amazon decides to hold your money or they're gonna suspend your account because they're gonna look into some uh, IP claims and eBay at the same time decides, you know what? Okay, you've been having a lot of late shipments. A lot of people are asking for refunds. You're getting a lot of negative reviews. Uh, we're gonna kind of you know, suspend your account right now as well. Well, what happens then? Where do you sell? What do you do? How are you making money? Are you doing dividends? If you are, again, I highly recommend it. Doing coaching? If not, I highly recommend it. You don't gotta be a coach, a full-time coach. You can simply be a full-time reseller and add in a couple extra income streams. And that's what I recommend. Another thing that you can do, again, which I highly recommend, and a lot of people are making bank doing this exact same thing, is affiliate marketing. I know my writing's not the best. Sorry about that, but I've never been a great writer. Okay, affiliate marketing, and what could you do and how could you make money as an affiliate marketer? You may not know exactly what it is. Affiliate marketing is essentially where, let's say I find a product, so let's say uh, the product that everybody needs to have is they need to have a barcode scanner, okay? A little uh, KDC 200i barcode scanner, right? So I got a little barcode scanner right here. Looks something like that, and a little button right there. Little beep, okay? And so what you do is you tell your friend that you do coaching for, you tell them and you send them a message over on Facebook, okay, or on Instagram or YouTube, you send them a message to this uh, Amazon, okay, link, okay, to buy this product. Once they buy that product, guess what happens? You get paid some money. You get paid a small commission. And I think for every one of these that you sell, sell for about 200 bucks, I think new, um, so you'd make like, what, 10 bucks, something like that. It's like $10 for every one you sell. So it's not a lot of money, but again, $10, if you sold two, three, maybe five of those every single month, you make $50 a month by doing affiliate marketing. That's something that you didn't think you could make money on. That's an additional $50 you could roll right back into your business, right back into your resale business. Same thing when it comes to coaching. Okay, great. I made $50 on your affiliate marketing right here. Let's say I made 50 here. 50 per month over here in coaching. Let's say I do uh, a few different you know coaching calls every single month. I charge let's say 25 bucks, so I make 75 dollars right there, right? It's 125 dollars you just made in addition to what you're making down here. And this is what a lot of resellers don't understand: is okay, great, I am reselling. That's my main business. I can't do anything else. That's, that's where everything goes. That's where all my time needs to be spent because that's what's making me the most money. But my question to you is, what happens if all of a sudden eBay and Amazon decide, nope, we don't want you selling on our platforms anymore? Then what do you do? Number four, and again, I'm working my way backwards, okay? This is where everybody's at. This is everybody's home. This is what I'm saying you should start implementing into your business in addition to what you got going on down there. Okay, so the next thing is selling through other platforms outside of eBay and Amazon, okay? And so this is what I highly recommend because it does work, okay? I recommend Mercari, okay, Poshmark. I recommend um, uh, Etsy. And I recommend one of the ones that I've been getting into lately, which I've been doing extremely well on, uh, but it's something that it's new to me is selling on the real real, okay? If you don't know what that is, I'll explain it in just a second. The real real, that's the real, R-E-A-L, R-E-A-L. Probably seen it before, if you haven't, let me explain kind of what it is. This is more of a luxury sales site. So you can sell 
Uh, you can sell Prada and you can sell, you know, Rolexes and all that great stuff. You know, tag Hoyer on eBay. But I'd recommend you sell on the real real. Here's the reason why. You ship them your items, your, your expensive items. They will give you a prepaid postage that you can ship your, let's say you have a Rolex or you have a, you know, some Givenchy shoes, you know, whatever, okay? You ship it off to them. They authenticate it and then they will allow you to sell it. And you can get up to 85% of whatever it sells. So let's say you sell a, a Rolex watch for $5,000. You can get up to 85% of that money. So they take 15%, which again is more than eBay, but at the same time, I think selling on the real wheel, you get better customers. On eBay, you get a lot of people that are trying to get a deal. On the real wheel, people are trying to get the real authentic items. They don't want to ask questions. They don't want to you know, question you whether, is that a real Rolex or is that a fake? Because I didn't just pay you know $3,800 for a fake Rolex, right? So that's just my take on that one. But as far as Mercari, Poshmark, Etsy, just getting in the door to other, other platforms outside of eBay and Amazon is a great idea. Simply because what happens if they decide, we don't want you to sell on our platform anymore. What do you do? And the last one, okay, local sales. Um, that's gonna be something like, like uh, OfferUp, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, things like that. I highly recommend you do local sales as well. Here's the reason why, okay? Uh, so uh, a guy that I highly recommend you go and follow, you may follow him anyway, but his, uh, his name is uh, Charles Leslie, you may know him as uh, Chaz, but he, him and his wife run the channel, The Side Hustle Network. Uh, I, I highly recommend you go and follow him, and I say this because one of the things he does, and he shows this over on his Instagram account, and I think on YouTube as well, is he does local sales and recently I think he sold a Bowflex that he ended up buying locally and made it all profit. Okay, so the cool thought part about local sales is that if you buy stuff that or you find stuff at a thrift store, you know, pawn shop or just, you know, anywhere that is big and bulky, you don't got to worry about sending it to some, you know, other place. You don't got to worry about shipping it off, you know, 200 miles to someone on eBay. You sell it locally. Even though you may not make as much money, you don't got to pay any fees, you don't got to pay shipping. And the cool part about it is you can really open up and broaden your, your horizons, broaden your business because now it opens the doors to a lot of new inventory that you may not have been able to sell in the past. So let's talk about these different income streams for a second, okay? And why I highly recommend them. Uh, again, you know, we talked about it just a minute ago, but I want to go back through these one more time before I get into eBay and Amazon. But with dividends and investing in an app like Robinhood or you know Webull or anything like that, okay, the cool part about it is it's free, okay. So you don't gotta pay anything. You obviously gotta pay for the stock itself. So if you buy a uh, like a Ford stock, I think it's like a nine dollar stock, so it costs you nine bucks, okay. But then when you sell it, you don't have to pay any fees either, okay. So you can get your all your money back. So there is a there's there's risk involved in buying stocks, but the cool part about it is when you buy a dividend stock. Okay, not just for some random stock, but a blue chip stock that's gonna pay you dividends. The nice thing about it is, okay, you don't gotta invest a lot. All you need is a dollar. All you need is one dollar and you can start investing right now. So again, use the link down in the description box below so you can go ahead and get your free stock. Second business, coaching. Like I said, you do not have to be a full-time coach and worry about running this co big coaching business and coaching 50 different people. All you gotta do is get a few different people, friends, family members, people online that follow you on Instagram or YouTube or Facebook, okay, it really works. So not only can you do this and this in one, okay, if you have a, uh, you're doing reselling and you're talking about stuff you're buying, how you're shipping it, you're doing all stuff on, on Instagram, awesome, highly recommend it, but at the same time, put in an affiliate link every once in a while and promote the products that you're using. Promote, so for example, I could promote this this uh, little whiteboard uh, marker right here. I could promote this big eight by four foot whiteboard right here. I could promote all that stuff with the lighting or the camera or whatever I'm using. Now, like I said, you can go and promote the scanner you need to scan books for Amazon FBA. You can go and promote the different tape gun or tape dispenser you use when you're shipping stuff on Amazon, eBay, Macari, Poshmark, and Etsy. You can do all that, right? 
Next thing you do, when you do local sales, you can talk about how you clean it up. You can use different sanitizing wipes. You can use uh, Goo Gone, whatever you need, right? And so not only are you helping your coaching customers, but you're providing affiliate links, which again, is make you some more money, okay? The key as a reseller should always be to make the most money possible. And sometimes it doesn't mean I have to make the most money by buying a product and reselling it. There's other options, okay? And that's the cool part about being a reseller is you can expand your business and think outside the box. Think a little bit differently because I know a lot of people do not do that. So again, what I recommend, dividend stocks. Okay, go and invest some money into stocks. Now again, this there is risk involved, and I'm not saying if you're down to your last dollar, go and get it. Okay, now you can because all you need is one dollar, and you can get a free stock. Maybe that stock's worth fifty bucks, and then you go and sell that stock, and you cash out your money. You just made fifty bucks just by signing up for your free stock. So again, that link will be down in the description box below. Coaching, I have a coaching business. Okay, I do affiliate marketing, I do you know different types of online businesses and stuff like that, and I teach people how to do it. Same thing with uh, you know, running the my uh, course, Thrift Store Profits, is that's part of a kind of a coaching business. That's kind of my introduction into you know uh, thrifting and stuff like that, but it works. One thing I don't want you to do is try to do every single one of these different things. And the reason I say this is because a lot of people that I've talked to in the past they think that just because I create all these videos and show you different ways to make money, they need to do every single one because that's what I'm doing. And that's not necessarily the case, okay? I started on eBay. I started on eBay years ago, before Mercari, Poshmark, Etsy, and The Real Wheel were ever even invented. I started on eBay, just like some of you probably did. And then when I realized about Amazon FBA, I started selling stuff on Amazon FBA as well. And then I started to sell locally because I was finding that a lot of my stuff the that I sell on Amazon, it was coming back and some of it just wasn't worth it to me. So instead of flipping over on eBay, I'd sell it locally, whether it was a like a bigger warehouse sale or just a yard sale, that's where I'd sell it. And then I got into affiliate marketing through reselling as well. Also started adding coaching, which my very first coaching client was somebody that was looking to resell products on Amazon FBA. That's something I started back in like 2015. Dividends and investing in dividends. That's something I've been doing for less than a year. Investing in dividends by taking 5% of my monthly profits from my, my eBay business and reinvesting that back into my dividend account, into my, my Robinhood account, which I'm using to buy dividend stocks, okay? Or blue chip stocks, whatever you wanna call it. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm not saying you gotta go do all this stuff. I'm saying pick one, pick one additional income stream, whether it's you know selling on Etsy, cool. Whether you're gonna do affiliate marketing. If you don't have a community, you don't have people that are following you on Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram, or TikTok, it's gonna to be tough to do that. You need some type of audience to promote these different links to. If you don't have that, you're gonna struggle. Coaching, same thing, you need an audience. Who are you gonna coach? If it's gonna be someone locally, great. A friend or family member or some type of colleague or sometime somebody you just ran into at the, the thrift store, awesome. Okay, you can do that and charge money to do it. It might only be $25 an hour and you do it for three hours per month, but still it's something. All I'm saying is start somewhere because if you can do that now, in six months from now, in a year from now, maybe your business that was only making you $5,000 a month, now it's making you 15 because this is still making five, all this is adding up to an additional $10,000 every single month. That's a big jump and that's why I recommend you do it. So let me give you some tips before you run off and start doing this, all right? The very first tip for that I have for you guys is to not forget about your home, okay? And I call this home because that's where you need to be. That's where you need to be every morning, every night. This is where you wanna spend the majority of your time, home, okay? What's making you the most money when you go home? You're not necessarily making money. You're happy though, right? This is gonna make you happy. Not because money makes you happy. Money doesn't buy happiness. Money gives you options. Money gives you opportunities. Opportunities and options, I guarantee you, are gonna make you happy. So, spend your time in your home. Maybe it's eBay or it's Amazon or it's both. Spend your time there. 
That should be 80% of your time. The other 20%, put it there. And I say this because I've talked to many resellers. Okay, I did this when I first started back in like 2004, 2005, whenever I started selling on eBay. I don't even remember. One of the things I did was uh, I invested all this money into eBay and buying different products. And then the problem is I made a bunch of money. I took all that money and I put it in something else. I think I bought a car. And then my eBay business, guess what? There it went. Down the tube. It was done. I didn't have any money to invest back into eBay because I just went and bought a car. Okay? So, spend all your money, all your time, everything right here, 80% here, 20% there. This is why I recommend dividends because it does, it's, a, it's a very passive income. All the rest of this stuff is not extremely passive. Coaching, not passive. Affiliate marketing is passive. It takes time, okay? So, Macari, Poshmark, Etsy, the real wheel. Local sales, not passive. eBay, not passive. Amazon FBA, depending on how you do it. If you're doing private label products, you're doing wholesale products, or you're doing online arbitrage, it's a little more passive. It's still passive with retail arbitrage, and I wouldn't recommend doing thrifting unless you're doing books, but it can be passive. But the, the biggest passive income stream right here is the one on the very top. Buying stocks, okay, that are going to pay you a dividend every single month, or you know, once a year, whenever it is, they're gonna pay you a little bit. And that's why I recommend you do it is because this one right here takes minutes to create an account. Okay? You they give you one free stock. So again, you know, I'll put the link down in the description box below, but they give you one free stock. And the cool part about it is you just set it up and you go. Every single month. You take your five percent or whatever you want to do, that's what I'm doing is five percent of my eBay uh, profits every single month. And I'm taking that 5%, putting it into dividends, into my Robinhood account. So that's just what I'm doing. Okay, you can do whatever you want. I'm not saying this, you, this is how you do it. This is the way it's done. This is going to make you a millionaire tomorrow. It's not like that. Okay, you can make a lot of money with stocks. But I'm just saying most people, you know, is, you're going to invest a little bit of money. You're going to grow it slowly. And that's the way to do it. Okay, because this is just one little portion of your business. This is home. This is where you want to be, you know, on your main accounts, whether it's eBay, Amazon, Macari, Poshmark, Etsy, the real real, however you want to do it. Okay. So that's my number one tip for you guys. Second tip that I have for you guys is when it comes to um, selling on any, any platform, one of the biggest things you can do to make more money is actually to increase your average sale price. This is something that I've been doing a lot lately on eBay is I've been selling a lot of, you know, higher end, hard to find electronics. I've been also doing the exact same thing with uh, jerseys, like basketball jerseys. I've been finding some at very good prices uh, at some pawn shops. <clears throat> Here's the thing that you need to understand when it comes to doing this though. If you don't know how to determine if it's real, if it's authentic, if it's fake, don't go and buy you know, hundred dollar, uh, you know, eighty dollar jersey or whatever, um, and try to resell it for you know one eighty, two hundred dollars plus, because you could really get hurt. You could get burnt here if you don't know exactly what you're buying. Same thing when it comes to the real wheel and selling like high end watches. If you wear you know just a you know a cheap Casio or a Timex, chances are you're not going to be able to. You might not have the the skill set to really know what's real what's fake so when you're going out there and i uh, the, usually i'm buying my stuff off of like facebook sometimes craigslist uh I, I hardly ever buy it from a pawn shop just because that's usually the biggest place where people try to scam and so not the not the pawn shop themselves but uh people that are trying to just get some quick money will take a fake rolex fake uh you know cartier watch to these pawn shops and think they can kind of you know get by sometimes they do yeah i have seen fake fake uh, items, especially with Rolexes at pawn shops, and they don't realize it's fake. Okay, so something like that. So again, understand what you are buying and selling, but at the same time, you really need to buy the stuff you know, but increase your average sale price. And if you can do this, the cool part about this is maybe you're spending 80% of your time right here in your home, okay, on eBay and Amazon FBA. But the cool part about it is once you start to increase your sale price, you can actually spend less time here. Because if you think about it, it, let's say you can make a $5 profit off a $20 item. Cool, but what if you can make $50 profit off of a $100 item? 
That means, okay, a $5 profit off a $20 item, that means to get to your $50, you have to sell, sell 10 different items. Or you can sell one item for $100 and make the same amount of money. That means you got less time listing, you got less time invested in shipping, you don't have to deal with as many customers. So you're gonna have more time to do what you want and that more time that you save here is gonna help you here, okay? And most people don't realize that. And that's one of the biggest issues when it comes to really increasing their income is how do they do it? That's how you do it. And the last piece of advice I have for you guys when it comes to setting up a business and making more money, okay, adding a, another income stream, is to have a process in place. And I say this because a lot of people don't have a, pr a proven process in place and they can tell, and I can tell when I first kind of talk to them and we go over this is, so how do you list stuff on eBay? They always tell me, well, I you know, pull, out, pull out a big box and I put stuff on my kitchen table, and clear off all the crap, the mail, the junk, all that stuff, and I just clear it off and uh, I start listing. And I spend like an hour a day and I do this and I do that and I make a decent amount of money. Well, so your process is you clear off your kitchen table, right? That's not a great process. What I'd recommend is you, instead of having a kitchen table and clearing it off every single time, maybe you have a dedicated shipping station, you have a dedicated listing station, you have a dedicated room in your house. It could be in your garage, it could be in your attic, it could be a you know, a closet for all I care, but you have a dedicated room where all your stuff is set up, it's ready to go. Because your process should be, grab my stuff, got my bags from you know, Marshalls and got my bag from the thrift store and the pawn shop and put them on the table and I go through it and I was like, all right, I'm gonna list this and this and this and here's the prices and I you know, take pictures and they're good, right? You need to have a process. And most people don't have a process. Most people don't have a process when it comes to coaching. Most people don't have a process in how are they gonna invest their money they get a big amount of money, big lump sum at the end of the year because they get their taxes or maybe they have to pay money, which you know I usually do. And then they think, okay, you know, I gotta, I have this much money at the end of the year. Okay, I'm gonna spend $500. I'm gonna invest it. Cool, I'm gonna be rich. No, that's not a process. A process, something that's proven, a strategy, okay, a plan, is taking five percent like I do every single month at the end of the month. Well, actually, it's the first of the month because I take the money from the last month. And I take 5% of that, throw it right into my Robinhood account. Simple. Okay? That's my process. And I've been doing that for less than a year, but again, it works. And it's something that's been proven to work over the past however many months. And so again, that's just something that I want you to understand is if you can create a process, no matter what kind of process, how elaborate, how great it is, it's starting somewhere. And that's all you got to do is start somewhere. Because if you start somewhere, Again, it doesn't matter if it's on eBay, it's on Etsy, it's on you know the real real. You're starting with your know, Amazon FBA, your Mercari, your Poshmark, again, Craigslist. I don't care where you start as a reseller. All I care about is that you create an actual business that's going to make you money. Because most people can't say that. Most people create a resale job. They list stuff on eBay. They sell stuff on eBay. They ship stuff on eBay and they wake up the next day and they list stuff on eBay and they sell stuff on eBay and they ship stuff on eBay and they go to bed and they wake up the next day and they do it all over again. That is a job. Now it may be fun, it's still a job, okay? I want you to create an actual business. This channel is called The Homemade Entrepreneur. You can't be a homemade entrepreneur if you create a job. Now I create jobs for other people, but I don't want a job myself. I want an actual business that can help me make money, increase my net worth, and actually give me time to spend with my friends, my family, and doing the stuff that I love. Now I understand, I talk about a lot of stuff outside of just those seven income streams every reseller should have. But hopefully that brought all this together. Because I know every single one of these things is kind of off on their own, but you bring everything together and you make a bigger income for your reselling business. If you do this and be successful with it every single month, okay, it won't be long before this right here is seriously a full-fledged business making you a lot of money. Because you can make little bits of money, little strides here and there, and it's still something, okay? All I'm saying is don't rely on just one income stream. Don't rely on just one source like eBay or Amazon FBA or Poshmark or Mercari. Because of what happens, I've seen it. I know this for a fact because I've seen it with a lot of people I've coached 
with a lot of friends of mine is they're selling, you know, let's say grocery products on Amazon. And all of a sudden, Amazon decides, no, we don't want you selling any grocery products. You're done. You're off. There goes their income. Same thing with eBay. The shipments are a little bit late. They're getting a lot of returns because they sell a lot of shoes. And they're getting a lot of negative feedback because maybe they don't want to accept a return because they say no returns. But the person says, ah, it doesn't fit. I need a return. And eBay says, yeah, return it. And they're like, no, I don't want to. And then all of a sudden they're losing money. Okay, these are things that you need to be aware of. So hopefully this video kind of opened up your eyes to new possibilities. These are just seven income streams I highly recommend every reseller has. But if you have any questions, let me know. You can always ask your questions down in the comment section below. I'll try to add all the links that I, that I mentioned, referenced, talked about inside the description box so you can go check those out as well. But again, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Also, click that notification bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. And I'll see you guys on the next one.